Hello, this is Christian. Welcome to episode 3 of this video series. This time we'll focus on interfaces in PHP. So here again, the list of interfaces, what you can or cannot do with it. Uh, interfaces can extend many other interfaces only. It cannot have um, any abstract methods. It cannot have a constructor. As you can see, the list of cannot is actually more than the can list here. Okay, so let's take a look at, well, how they're related in a class and interface in PHP. So in here, we, we in the previous video, we did some examples using the uh, Animal Kingdom as uh, classes and uh, abstract classes and concrete classes. Okay, so um, let's uh, add another one here. Um, yeah, let's, let's just start over here. Create another file. We'll call this just uh, interfaces. Okay, so interfaces are very, very broad. Think of it like the interfaces of a musical instrument of your car, right? Anything that you can plug into and then you don't really care what's inside, what's happening inside the black box. Those are the interfaces that you can use to connect it to. That's very broad. <clears throat> so interfaces uh, are declared as follows. You can have the, you need to use the word interfaces, or interface, I'm sorry followed by the name of that interface. So for example, if you talk about the animal kingdom, you can say a species. It could be an interface. Okay. <clears throat> so very broad. And then what does it do? Okay, so I'm I should have picked a different type. I don't know much about species. <laughs> but um, so here you cannot have variables. So you cannot have like private uh, data, things like that, okay? You 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 cannot if you mouse over that the IDE will tell you that interfaces may not include member variables. Okay, so that's a no-no. <clears throat> what about functions? Um, if you put functions maybe like uh, age, can you do that? And since we yes and no, if you mouse over that red thing, it says access, access type must be omitted. So that means you cannot have the word public or private here. It's always going to be public by default. You can have, you can make it public. I think that should be fine, but you cannot have it private because otherwise, um, you know, it's, it's, it's privacy, right? You can't use it. So either public or just leave it out. If you leave it out, just the default. So there it is, a function. I like to use the public in there just to be consistent with your code. So this is a function definition only. Okay. <clears throat> I cannot have a function um, for example, um, I don't know. It doesn't make sense with the species here anyway. Maybe, maybe like um, get name or something, right? You cannot implement a function like this. It's a function implementation because we have the full uh, curly braces in here. So if you mouse over that, it will tell you cannot have body. Okay, so it's bodyless. <laughs> so you just need to be like that. <clears throat> okay, so. This is very limited to what you can do with interfaces. And you cannot have constructor either. So if I do go here, function, uh, constructor, right? You can have a, again, because this, after all, it's just a function if you do it this way, but you cannot have a constructor like this. So it breaks the rule for uh, that um, interface. So if it's like this, then yeah, that's why it would treat it as a constructor, but it's, it's not complete. So whatever it is, you need to implement that. Okay, so really you don't we don't really need this because there's no point. Okay. So that's all you can do with that. Now we'll talk about traits later in the next uh, uh, course, but um, it does have you can use you cannot use traits either. I yeah, you cannot use that. You can ha you can you can extend other interfaces. So if I have another interface up here, call it um, I don't know, type. I'm just making that up. Okay, so I can extend that type up here. So and species extends type. Okay, uh, as you can see, you use, use the word extend just like a class extends another class and so on. But um, so if I have another one here, um, let's call this type A, and uh, we have another one. Uh, come on, face type. B. Okay, so I can extend both of those. Just put a comma here. Type B. Okay. Usually you cannot do that in a class. 
So interfaces, you can extend multiple interfaces if you want to. Right? And uh, as you can see, I just did both of those. Now, <clears throat> because they are interfaces, you cannot create objects out of those. So I cannot go down here and say, you know, um, as is new species or any of those interfaces out there. You cannot do that. It will have an error. It will say you cannot instantiate object out of that. Okay. In order to use these, or in order for these to be useful, you must extend these through either a concrete or abstract class. So here, if I want to use these species, I will have a class um, called um, maybe animal. Right? And then that can extend I mean, the, it's not extend, but that can implement the uh, species class uh, interface. And then now, as soon as, do, I see, as, as I do that, you see a red line. If you mouse over that, it will tell you, you must declare abstract or implement these method called get age and get name. Two options again. If you don't want to implement the functions, you must declare this as an abstract class, like in the previous video. So now, uh, without this line, then these are okay because whichever class that needs to create objects m and it uses these must implement these two functions. Okay, um, so so that means this class, if it's a regular concrete class, it must implement that. So that means you must recreate these again inside here. If I go and mouse over that and let it do it automatically, just say yes. You see that these two are now created inside, implemented inside this function in this class here. And then now, because the animal is uh, a, a concrete class, I can extend or create an object out of the animal class instead. Okay, so everything's okay here. So you can see the, the, uh, the interfaces are used just to provide the definitions of functions. And they don't implement, provide implementation. You let the subclasses do their job. Why do you need this is probably the, a question you want to ask. Well, if you have a series of functions that you want to share across multiple types of programs, then you have a list of all your function definitions here. And then, you know, let them use that functions, those functions. But you still have to implement them. So what's the point, right? Well, the point is because when you write a program, you have complete control of your code, okay? You want to force other people, other users to use this function or have access only to these functions, right? So if they want to do something else, they have to create their own. So this allows you to restrict uh, uh, what they can or cannot do. Okay, if you, if you require a user to who uses your uh, interface, then they must implement their own uh, functions. Okay, so, so that's kind of uh, one of the reasons for that. Um, but it's also something that's very broad uh, uh, that should be shareable by other uh, classes. Okay, so we have a um, a class here that you know implements these species here, and because these are all uh, different um, uh, interfaces, and I can have another class. Well, let's let's do this. Let's go down here. And I can have another class here uh, back to, let's just say, dog. Okay, this class can extend the animal class, and um, can. And I'm gonna go and turn this implementation off, okay? Because it's kind of redundant, so I'm gonna turn that off. And it can also implement the uh, species class. So instead of species, I'm gonna put uh, type A and type B. Okay, so you can see that this this animal a dog class extends extends a class another class whether that class is you know concrete or abstract doesn't matter and implements these two interfaces. Okay, so interfaces you can in, you can implement as many as you want, but extension here for another class you can only have one. Right, you can have more than one, and we saw that earlier. Okay, so now the dog has access to everything in the dog class and also everything in the animal class and everything in the interface class. Again, only thing is that you must implement um, any functions in here. I didn't have it here, but let's just say that in A class I have a, a, a function 
called, um, you know, get A or something. Okay, then you see that now you need to implement that. If I have a class inside the B as well, called get B, then yeah, that too. So if you see down here, you see that you must implement those. And if you say yes, and then okay, and now everything's happy. Okay, the indication here just means the interface. You you are uh, implementing the interface for A interface for B, the up arrow tells you that it's in the, the class or the interface is above you, right? So you are the child of that, sort of like that. Same thing with the animal, okay? Uh, so that is how interfaces are used, okay? Mainly just to provide some functionality, the uh, definition of functions, you can use them, and that's it. Some very limited uh, stuff in here, but very, very generic functionality for your uh, class and for your use. Okay, so um, there's nothing much you can do here uh, other than what I showed you here. Until you build a really complex program, then you will use these two again to, to uh, gather or put all your functions into one um, interface and you pass them around. Any questions? Please let me know.